What up, Fit Fam? Hope you guys are doing great today. About to go over some Chaturanga Dandasana. So getting that low plank, nice good shoulder integration. The pretty much, you know, piece this together through, through your vinyasa. So inhale, arms up, exhale, four fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it out. High plank, and on this exhale, we're moving high plank to low plank. So get full body alignment, press as far forward off your tippy toes as possible till you start curling onto the tops of the feet and then hinging at those elbows from the lower halfway, keeping our shoulders above the elbows, pressing forward with the hips, inhaling now, taking that back bend, rolling those shoulders back, nice flat palms. And then exhale, tailbone lifting up, curling over those feet, downward facing dog, simple like that. And then you can walk back to the top, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, and just working on that. So in order to build that up, you come to all fours, lift those back feet, and just hinge at those elbows. Make sure the creases of the elbows are in alignment so the elbows go straight back, leaning with your heart. You can just hold this and just keep practicing that. You can even drop to your knees anytime you're going through that chaturanga flow. Help build that up, that muscle memory. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And you can even chaturanga, put the knees down, inhale, up dog, exhale, child's pose, and just keep working on those. And that's gonna help build all your arm balances, side crow, regular crow, you know, running man, the crazy running man, you know, reversing. Eight angle pose. So it all just comes down that bone over bone alignment, hinging at the elbows, 90 degrees. If not, keeping the shoulders above the elbows. We don't want to look down, we don't want to dip, because then we lose our whole nice spinal integration. Geometric plane, same as plank, side plank, Vivasana, you know, standing straight up tall in our true north, even a little handstand. Stay fit, fam. Just keep working on that. All good. Just go for your own pace. No rush. When I did my second yoga teacher training, all I did was drop to my knees during those chaturangas, low planks, and then that just really helped rebuild my shoulders. I had some shoulder injuries from hockey, so take your time. No rush. Don't be doing the worm, you know, during these chaturangas. You're going to lose a lot of that ability to build a nice total body integration. So practice that every day, you know, getting your cat cows in, going a little bit forward, and just building that muscle memory up. So take your time. Namaste. Work hard, play hard. Get it in.